G'day viewers, I'm John Corbett, and this is also John Corbett, my father, the inventor of the MIC. Biomolecular Systems, we formed five years ago after we sold Corbett Life Science to a German company, Kyogen. So we got back into the business, we set up BMS, we developed another product for some other companies, but this is the first product that we're going to call our own. And we're back into the QPCR business because we did know it, love it, and we have a passion for it. So Dad, tell the viewers how you invented the magnetic induction technology. Okay, what I wanted to do was make a replacement for the rotor tube because the rotor tube was too bulky and too slow. So I was looking for new technology to heat and cool the samples and um, I looked at numerous things but uh, one morning I was boiling a cup of coffee on my new induction cooker and I thought maybe this will work. So I shot into work, built a prototype in a couple of days and um, it worked quite fine. The key features and benefits of the MIG are, well it's based on the rotogene technology because it's round. When things are round, everything does the same thing. So when you heat and cool it, everything heats uniformly, both dynamically and statically. The machine never drifts. It's calibrated once at the factory. You never have to calibrate again. The machine comes in two channel, four channel. We have the option to do HRM. We can control multiple machines through Bluetooth. So they're all controlled through a tablet or a laptop or desktop computer, whatever you have, all running on Windows. The data that you get from these machines is superior to the rotogene because we use magnetic induction so we no longer have tubes spinning in an air oven, they're spinning in an aluminium block. And we can control the temperature of the aluminium block much more precisely than we ever could of the air oven. QPCR is a technology that's been around for a long time now, probably 15, 20 years in fact. Uh, thus, there's a lot of players on the market. Originally, the technology was used in research for people doing gene expression, uh, primarily. But um, as the technology has matured, it's now being used in molecular pathology. It's being used in veterinary sciences, food quality control, GMO detection. It's used in everything imaginable because DNA is in everything that is alive. So. The, the amount of uh, scientific fields that this can be used in is vast and varied.